this is being recorded. So if folks join late, then um, they can watch the recorded version when it gets posted. But um, um, so, uh, so with that, we'll, we'll get started. I uh, want to thank everybody for joining us this, this afternoon. And first, I want to say um, uh, it's Veterans Day and, and anybody on the call or uh, joining us who's a veteran, want to thank you for your service and thank all the veterans. Uh, we thought it was important to get this out um, as quickly as possible, um, given we've, we've received some additional information lately about grants available to North County businesses. Uh, joining me today, and, and very glad to have the Moore County Chamber as a partner for this, is Joel Smythe. And, and so, Joel, uh, uh, welcome for, thanks for joining us again. Well, you're welcome, Mandy. Uh, it's, it's a privilege to be a part of this. We're glad that you have invited us to partner with you in this, in presenting this and, and helping get the word out. Uh, we just want to see the success of the businesses here within uh, Morrow County, and um, this just seems like a great, great way and a good, good partnership to keep, keep uh, the word out and and let people, people know. So we're 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 grateful for you digging in and and uh, and uh, presenting this too. So thank you. Great, so I really appreciate working with Joel. So, um, so here here's what we have. The state of Ohio has announced two different COVID-related grant programs available for certain businesses. And the, the first of those is the small, I don't know if you can see this, sorry for the camera, but it's the Small Business Relief Grant. And uh, some interesting things with this, it provides up to $10,000 per valid applicant, and it's a first come, first serve situation and they've made $125 million available for this statewide. The interesting thing that they've done is they've made um, sure that each county, all 88 counties have 50 spots available to apply for these, these grants. So uh, our county has a half a million dollar available. I talked to um, a representative from the Lieutenant Governor's office um, yesterday afternoon and so there are, are um, so 34 of those have so far um, been applied for. We want to make sure that all of those are applied for. Um, but um, the deadline for those 50 uh, reserve spots will end on uh, November 22nd. So I encourage everybody to to look over the materials that's available on on the, the state's website. You just go to businesshelp.ohio.gov. There's a lot of information there. If you wanna um, call the development office or uh, send an email to us, we'll send you a link to that information. Uh, I'm glad to talk anybody through what, what we know. We're still trying to get up to speed on some things with these. But I um, thought I'd just read through some of the requirements here. And um, so these grants are for are reserved for small businesses. And that is um, any, any for-profit business that um, we have at least one, one person employed with receiving a W-2, um, but no more than 25 employees. Um, it, and it's a for-profit business is eligible. Um, and so, the ineligible businesses that they list are publicly traded companies, clubs, lobbying firms, um, uh, casino um, related businesses, and um, and then any businesses that, um, um, well, private schools, long-term care centers, or any businesses engaged in the sale, uh, cultivation of, um, cannabis products or liquor or tobacco products. So that's some of the exempt, uh, uh, the ineligible businesses. And that's all available at the state of Ohio's website, again, at businesshelp.ohio.gov. So there are still a lot of businesses that are, will be very eligible for this. And so uh, the grants are awarded um, from directly from the state to the business. I think that's a great model to have. And so
so we, we have heard some things about the application process. Um, and there's a link to it from this, the same website. Um, one of the things we've heard is you're strongly encouraged um, when you apply online to use Google Chrome or Safari. Um, uh, some folks who use the Firefox um, web browser um, have all kinds of issues using that grant application um, program. So um, one of the key things is you have to get what's known as an Ohio ID that's part of the process. And that seems to be where folks have the, the, the most issues. So again, it's, it's gathering up a lot of your information, having it available, and uh, then just going through the application uh, process. So um, there, there's, there's that portion of it. And then the, the second um, pot of funds that are available are through um, what's being called the Bar and Restaurant Assistance Fund. And so essentially the state has set aside $38.7 million so that all the 15,400 licensed liquor permit holders in the state can obtain up to $2,500. And that's all towards helping them with um, their, their expenses. And so some of the folks that applies to are bars, restaurants, breweries, distilleries, wineries, um, and uh, casinos and, and private clubs. So uh, you go online, you can you can see if your business is one of these listed. Um, and then it's the same kind of deal where um, you want to use Google Chrome or Safari. And they also have a, a, an FAQ on their website on how to do that. And if you, you need any help with locating where this, stuff, this information is on the internet, uh, please give me a call or send me an email and, and we can direct you to it. And then uh, when we're done with this, uh, Joel does a fantastic job of wrapping this stuff up and posting it, which I could never do. <laughs> but he, he does a great job and um, the, the chamber does a, a wonderful job of getting information out to folks. And that's that's one of the reasons they're a great partner. So so there's, there's that. Um, and then... See, uh, just a, one other thing I, uh, we, I would really encourage you is with these grant programs, right now there's a, there's a big rush to get as many people as possible signed up. Uh, and, and that's great. We, we, one is we want to make sure that all 50 of those spots are claimed at least by November 22nd so that none of that's lost. But um, the grant program has a lot more than that $44 million that's set aside. And so we would love to see a lot more than 50 people apply from the county and a lot more than 50 people um, can obtain these grants. It's just, we, we want them to have all the information and then be able to um, get it in as quickly as possible because um, as soon as the funds are all claimed, they're, they're gone. So that's for the Small Business Relief Grant, which is the $10,000 grant. There's a little bit more time for the for the restaurant, the bar and restaurant assistance fund, because there's enough money for all 15,400 licensees in the state. But they are asking people to get all their submissions in before December 30th, and really the sooner the better for that. So, um, let's see, I, I think that's just um, um, an overview of where things are at. And then, uh, again, I just want to say, if, if you're awarded the grant, one thing I wanted to see from the state is, well, um, where's the contract that people have to sign? And you should know that the only contract you get or sign is your application that you submit. So as much as you can keep copies of that application or do screenshots of it, um, and so whatever you, it's listed in the application process, is what the state considers the contract. So I'd be mindful of that. And then um, again, they wanna get this money out the door to help people out. And certainly a lot of folks really need assistance now. Um, the one caution I'd say is there's normally a different group of people who end up auditing these funds. 
And so sometimes the audit process is a little more um, intense than what you first hear about it. So we would really encourage anybody, uh, well, we do encourage you to apply. And then if you are awarded the grant, um, make sure that you're very uh, meticulous in maintaining your records so that if, say, you were to get audited, you can very clearly show um, how the money was used. To, you know, if you have a, a really sharp uh, uh, CPA, I, I see Ms. Maseko's online here. So um, you have a really sharp uh, accountant helping you out, then then you're able to to keep track of all these, and you can answer those types of questions. So, um, I tell you what, um, I talk more than I normally like to talk. Apologize for that. And then what I'm going to try to unmute everybody, and if anybody has any questions, you just take turn asking any questions. So, and I'll just ask you to do me a favor and give me a second here. Uh, Working a little slow today, so. All right, so everybody, um, if, um, if you have a question, just you go ahead and unmute yourself. And just, if anybody has any questions, please go ahead. Good afternoon. <coughs> Ms. Maseko, is that you? hear me yes how you doing doing great thank you for joining us yeah I was just calling did, did I hear you correctly there's 34 people that have already applied to Morrow County yeah according to uh, the person I talked to yesterday afternoon at the um, lieutenant governor's office um, she said there are or 16 that 16 spots still available out of the 50. So that doesn't mean that we're, that's all that's left. That means that's how much that is guaranteed to Morrow County. Right. After you hit 50, then it's the first come first served after that. Correct. And the other thing is, do you have any detail on, you know, in the uh, facts about the uh, loan it's, or the grant, it says that you have had to been affected by COVID. Have they gotten any detail on what does that really mean? I mean, if I lost 1% of my business or half of my business or, you know, just because I had to go buy some PPP and some protective devices, did they come in with any clarification on that? No more than what's been shared in their um, their fact sheet so um, and I can read uh, for everybody here's what they call eligible uh, uses of funds so personal protective equipment like you mentioned um, for protection of employees customers measures taken to protect employees or customers like some folks have, have spent a good bit of money putting up the the screens um, they also list mortgage or rent payments for business premises, although they also point out that personal residences are are explicitly excluded from that. And then utility payments over this year, salary, wages, or compensation paid to contractor or employees, including an employee share of health insurance costs, and business supplies or, or equipment. So again, we would really recommend that if, if you're awarded it, however you, um, that you're very detailed, uh, help, help, if you have a great accountant to help you out there to specify that here are the $10,000 in expense. This is how we spent this uh, $10,000 on, on either employee uh, wages or uh, PPE or utility payments or whatever. And, and so as long as you have those documented clearly, then that's a good way of doing it. 
Well, what if I had a client that asked me, what if uh, I'm only going to spend about four thousand dollars of that? How, what do I do with the other six? How can I pay it back or what, what happens with that? Well, I, um, that's a good question. And so we'll put that on the list and we'll be asking the state that question when they're back in tomorrow and and see what they say and we'll get that answer to you. That would be great. I've, I've sent several emails and I haven't got a response because I'm trying to get some clarification. So whatever you could get, Andy, would be wonderful. Yeah, we sure will. And then there's a says Margie as far we started out the year with 29 and to 19 because of coded that's an you know that's another uh, question we'll check on okay Andy what is the site you go to yeah so it's it's business help dot ohio dot gov and with this grant is it forgivable or not it, it's a grant there's no loan to this so okay um, yeah you just again just make sure you you document your expenses and again if if you're having trouble documenting more than a lady saying four thousand. We'll see what it says about that. Great. Okay, here's my question from. Yes, Hello? please go ahead. Yeah, this is Debbie Pop from Morrow Lanes. My question is: is that in this loan or in this grant, do you not have to have W two your employees? Like we don't W two because we're owners, so we don't. We're the only two employees, so we don't W two. Is that not a fact that we are not eligible for those grants? Then so here, so um, for the bar and restaurant assistant fund, frequently asked questions. Uh, for this one, it says. Um, I do not give myself a W-2. In the grant application, it asks how many W-2 employees, so am I still eligible for assistance? And it says here that for the bar and restaurant assistant funds, you, you do not need to report it. You may mark this zero, but it says for the small business relief grant, businesses must have at least one, but no more than 25 W-2 employees. Okay, so then it's to find out if Morrow Lanes is actually would be noted under the restaurant. Yeah, and 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 do you, do you serve alcohol there? No, we do not. Okay. So. We... But I I will double check and just make make them confirm that. Okay. Okay. Any any other questions? All right. Well, Joel, would do you have anything else? At the moment? Uh, not at the moment, but I will definitely help get the, uh, any information out. If you, uh, you know, if you come up with any of the answer any of those questions or whatever, we can put them out on our or whatever too. So. Good deal. So, take your time. yeah, thank you. Uh, we'll work to answer some of the questions we receive. I close the business tomorrow. But thank you everybody for this, this afternoon, and and um, thank you very much. And we'll wrap there. Andy, thank you so much for bringing this to to the public and heading this up. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Afternoon then.